What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you to replace your auger belt on a Troy built or similar snowblower. The tools you're going to need for this job are a ratchet, extension, 3 8 inch socket, adjustable wrench, and a 9 16 inch wrench. You also need the auger belt and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the belt cover. And there's a bolt on each side and they're the 3 8 inch size. On the other side it's located underneath the chute. Then carefully remove the belt cover. Underneath the belt cover you'll notice there are two belts, the auger belt in the front and the drive belt in the back. In order to remove the belt, we also need to remove the belly pan. This is best done with the machine tipped up. Just make sure your gas tank is not full before you do this. When you remove the belly pan, just be careful not to damage any of the cables. Now's a good time to clean the drive wheel. I use a spray degreaser and kind of get off some of that grime. You can also run a little degreaser over the drive wheel itself. And now's a good time to give it a good inspection to make sure everything looks good. No flat spots or anything worn. Next, remove the belt retention bolt. This is a 9 16 I use an adjustable on the other side. Now you can remove the belt. You may have to press down the drive lever or the auger lever in order to get the belt off. That's the auger lever. And you may have to go to the top of the machine and pull it off of the pulley first in order to release it from the bottom. Once you get it off the top and the bottom pulley, you can slowly weave it out. You can see that this belt was pretty well cracked, so it's time for a new one. So I just like to take the old one and the new one and just compare them to make sure it's the same exact one before I try to reinstall it. In this case it is. In order to get the belt back on it's a little bit more difficult than actually taking it off. So you may need to press down the drive lever in order to make this happen. It creates a little bit more space between the two pulleys making it easier to feed the belt through. Once you have the belt seated on the bottom pulley you then want to go to the top and on this side you're going to pull it around the idler pulley and then up and around the engine pulley just like that then just double check on both sides to make sure it's totally seated down next reinstall the belt retention bolt Then reinstall the belly pan. Then reinstall the belt cover with the two bolts.
Now it's time to test it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also check out all my other snowblower maintenance videos. I'll leave a link for those at the end of the video. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.